Hey what's going on guys Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video I'm going to go ahead and review the 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250 4 Matic. So this one here has the AMG package, it also has the premium package, premium plus, parking sensors and the 360 camera. So overall this looks very very nice, it has the regular black paint. With the AMG package you get these uh, 19 inch multi-spoke AMG wheels on 235-45 tires. Here's the back of the GLA 250. This one here was purchased from Lone Star Mercedes-Benz in Calgary, Alberta. So in case you guys are looking for a new Mercedes-Benz, I highly recommend to talk to Jason. He was our salesperson. And during the delivery, we also met the person there for the delivery who, whose name was Conrad. So he was also very helpful. Um, overall, very happy with that dealership. So we do shop a lot of vehicles and uh, Mercedes-Benz was one of our best experience. So everyone we met was very nice. So definitely recommend the Mercedes-Benz dealership. So here's the front of the GLA 250. As you guys can see, we, we get this very nice bumper with the AMG package. And whenever you get the parking assist, you also get those very nice parking sensors right over to the front. We also get these LED headlights with the uh, turn signal right over there, which I can show you with the remote. So I can just unlock the vehicle. There we go. Here's a closer look at the multi-spoke AMG wheels. Have this nice AMG over there. Very nice rims. It also has the black Mercedes logo, which is also very nice. We have a turn signals on the power folding mirrors. Cool thing about the GLA is that if the vehicle is unlocked, you can go ahead and open this. Right now it's locked, so it won't open. But if you go ahead and unlock it, it actually opens the all the way for you. So you see, if I just tap it once, it just opens it compared to having it something like this where then you have to open it. Very, very nice touch. And whenever the vehicle is locked, it will not open. Now, speaking of locks and all that stuff, we get keyless entry on every single door and you can also lock the vehicle from any single door. Am I making sense? Probably. So example here, we have the driver's side. If I put my hand behind the handle, I can open the door and the power folding mirrors will also open as you can see. And right now I have it set so that only the driver's side door open. And then I can come up over to the rear door on the passenger side. I can put my hand, as you can hear that, it goes ahead and unlocks it. I can also go ahead and lock the doors by touching this little indent over there. And you can see the power folding mirrors closing in, as you can see. Now with the GLA, we also get the kick to open trunk. So you would just weigh your foot on the bottom. It will go ahead and open the trunk for you, which is very cool. We also get the parking sensors over here in the back, as you can see. And that's what you also get with the AMG package. You have a close over here on the trunk itself, or you could just wave your foot on the bottom, which will go ahead and close it anyways. We also got a Mercedes-Benz first aid kit that came with the car. Now, if you're wondering, this car does not have a spare tire, but it does have run flat tires. So that's why we're missing a spare tire here. Now, another cool feature is, is that you can actually pull this all the way up. And what it does, it just holds it in place. So if you look here, we have these uh, hooks, I guess. It just holds this in place and then you can just let it drop and uh, you have this nice place and you also get this cool cover so you can really see what's in the trunk uh, when the lid is closed. Now this little cover over here is the backup camera which is part of the 360 camera setup. So whenever you put the car in reverse or you enable the 360 camera, this will actually go ahead and drop down so that driving during the winter months, it will not get dirty. So the camera will always be clean. You also have LED lights and part of the 360 camera setup on your uh, side view mirrors. You also have another camera in the front of the vehicle. This one also has the panoramic sunroof, which I forgot to mention. We got the uh, chrome side skirts, I guess. 
then there's the panoramic sunroof. Now getting inside the GLA, you can obviously get in with the keyless entry. There goes the uh, side view mirror, just unfolds. Now here's the door panel for the driver's side. So if you look over here, we have the memory seat. So you can have three memory uh, settings for the drivers and also the passenger seats, if you can see. This is how you would adjust your seat, which is very nice. We have unlock, lock. You can fold your side view mirrors from the inside. You can control your mirrors. And we also have the uh, power windows. And over here you have your trunk. So this one does not have the Harman Kardon speaker system, but it does sound very good. On the driver's seat, we have a manual uh, leg extension, which is very comfortable. You can just nicely adjust it. And then you also have a manual headrest. So this one here does not control your headrest. It's kind of there for the looks, I guess. But it is more of a in inwards, as you can see. So yeah, that's that. So sitting inside the GLA, we have this very nice, inviting, beautiful interior. It's also very, very quiet in here, which is very nice. And if you look over here, this one here is this very cool looking trim. So I don't know if the camera will pick up. Yeah, there we go. So look at the way this thing is. I don't even know how to explain this, but this interior trim looks very, very nice. We still have the uh, multimedia controls over there. Push button start as well. And let me just start the engine here. And just push the button to start. There we go. So the GLA also has a blind spot monitoring system. If you're wondering what that is, that's part of your parking sensor system. You also have one in the back, which is over to the ceiling, as you can see there, which is very, very cool. We also have this uh, eight inch system here. In the center, we have a customizable screen, which we also see our digital speedometer at the moment, which gear we're in and what dynamic select mode are we in. Right now we're in comfort, which you can go ahead and adjust through the dynamic select button here. So you can just press it. And then you have sport, comfort, individual, off-road and eco. So you can just select in between which one you'd prefer. You also get this digital display here showing you each individual setting right over here. So if I do sport, there we go. On top of the digital display, we have time and also temperature outside. Now using the buttons over here, you can go ahead and adjust and see what other information you can see. So if I press down, we see our trim odometer. Right now the car has 97 kilometers on it. Then we have range, eco display. We also have from start. Uh, right now the fuel economy mileage is kind of ridiculous because it's been sitting here while I'm filming and and so the car is not showing you uh, what kind of consumption you're getting. I did a consumption test yesterday and I got about eight liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. So there's a from reset, we have that. If we use this over here, it will open up this menu here. So this car does not have the navigation. Um, you also have your audio. And then you have telephone. You also have driver assist. So we have assistance graphics. On the bottom we have attention assist. Then we have ASP, which you can enable or disable. We have a off light over there if you disable it. We have active brake assist, which is enable. You can also disable it. We have attention assist, which is on standard. I believe there's also sensitive and off. Next, we have blind spot assist, which helps you out with your blind spots. The triangles on the mirrors. Next, we have service. No messages at this point. We have tire pressure, which is gonna talk about the run flat indicator. So in case something happens to the tire, it will make you aware. Next, we have assist plus, which will tell us when is service A, so the car is brand new. Right now, uh, the service A will be in 363 days. Next, we have the settings. We have instrument cluster, so this allows you to change your speed slash odometer from kilometers to miles, just like that. You also have your top left here, so it will allow you to set it so that you can see your speed in miles per hour, or you can see the outside temperature. Over here under the vehicle, we have the automatic door lock. We also have the acoustic lock. 
from the convenience perspective, this is how you can make it so that your uh, side view mirrors will actually close and open automatically. You can deactivate that if you like by pressing OK, just like that. Next, we have the factory setting. So this will just go ahead and reset every settings. So that's pretty much it for the center instrument panel. Another cool feature about the GLA is at night, I don't know if you can see now, maybe you could, you can see that the Mercedes logo is projecting onto the car right now, but at night it will be all over on the ground from here. You also have nice LED lights under their side view mirrors. Over here we have the headlights controls and bottom here we have the automatic parking brake. So when the car is in park, it will engage the parking brake on its own and when you put it in drive, it will go ahead and release it. But in case it doesn't, you can obviously do it electronically. Behind the steering wheels, we also have pedal shifters. This is how we can adjust the uh, driving gear. So this is park if you push it in. We also have drive all the way down, center will be neutral and then reverse on top. So you put your foot on the brake. We also have it on the screen here, which will tell us what gear we're in. So if I just grab this and then put it all the way down, it will activate drive. And then if I put it into reverse, which will be all the way up, just like that, the backup camera will open up and show us a 360 top down view and all that. And now another cool feature is you can actually go down to the 180 and now you can see like more of a better angle. So you can see what's on your right back and then the left and all that. Or you can just see more angles by just going up here. So you can see top, rear, the side so you don't curb the wheels or anything like that. This is the front. And then you can have the backup camera way log look back. And then you can also see that when you turn the steering wheel, the guidance lines also change with it, both on the left side and the right side. Now you can also see the front example. So this will be the front here. So if I go down, we can see the front while we're on reverse from left and right, as you can see there. We can also go back. You can also change the brightness here. So if you like to have it more brighter, you can just change that. And you can exit the backup camera if you like. In order to put the vehicle in park, you can just put it in park, as you can see. But if you want it in reverse, the backup camera will open up once again after you even canceled it, which is very cool. So the 360 camera is definitely very nice. And the quality that you get in it is also very clean. So very, very nice. On the left side here, we have our turn signals, the wipers, and also high beams. So if I pull it towards me, we have like random high beam, I guess, whenever you want it. But then you can also push it back, which will always activate the high beam. You also have your turn signals, which just shows up right over there. If you push this, it will go ahead and spray uh, the windshield fluid. You also can adjust your windshield wipers using this, like that. You also have your rear wiper, and that's pretty much that. You can also have the spray on the rear wiper as well. On the front, we also have this very nice air vents, so you can actually adjust it wherever you like. You can also turn it off, so no air will come out of it, or turn it back on. Very, very simple to use. Same for these ones, so if you wanna turn this one off, you can have it off, or you can just adjust them and put them wherever you like, which is very, very nice. Over here, we have controls for heated seats, the infotainment system. Now, this one here does not have the Harman Kardon speaker system, but to be honest, it sounds very, very nice even without it. So the speaker system in this car is just amazing. Um, so anyways, right over here, we have radio. So if you click here, it will take you to radio. We have Navi. This car does not have the navigation, but there's a button for it. We have mute. We also have the vehicle settings. So if I press this, it will go ahead and open up the vehicle settings and stuff like that. We have hang up, answer phone call. We have uh, movement for track. So if you want the next music or something, you can just press this, which is very cool. We have a number pad here. You can use this to make a phone call, which is pretty cool as well. Um, over here, we have three heated seats options. So you can turn it on and it will go ahead and um, go the highest setting. You can also make it however you feel comfortable. And I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that if you have this on, over time it will lower itself down, I'm guessing. So I'm not exactly sure. Let me know if you have a GLA at this point and you use this, let me know how that, that thing actually works. So next here we have the vehicle again. So this one will take you to your comfort look, I guess I should say. 
it's a vehicle data um, with dynamic select it will go ahead and show you different options so there's sport there's also individual and there's also the off-road here you also get back to eco and comfort there we go and then with this one again it will show you um, your vehicle data and stuff like that you also get your steering angle so if I turn the vehicle wheels you can see the tires turning we also get this very nice uh, steering angle which is again pretty cool we have the hazard lights this one here is auto start stop which is actually very good in this car like it will actually uh, turn on very quickly and it's very good done and we also have the parking sensors off so if this is on uh, the light it means the parking sensors are off we have hill descent and the passenger um, uh, and the passenger heated seat we have a lockable glove box over here which has a very nice feel to it looks like a place to store a pen which again is very cool we also get a nice lighting the passenger seat you can also adjust the uh, leg extension which is manual as well you also get the memory settings and the power adjustable uh, settings as well here so you can just adjust however you like it you can also get the headrest to move forward by pressing this you can adjust it forward and let it so if you want it like that you can just let the button and it stays but if you press it it will just go straight you can also adjust the headrest manually like that probably good time to mention that all four windows are fully automatic so if you just press this once here's the driver it will just do it you can also put it up same with the passenger side the rear or the left side so if you just push it down all the way, it will automatically roll it, pull it all the way up, and it will just roll back up. We have a very nice center console, which you can move forward and backwards. It does affect your cup holder. So you have two cup holders over here. This car also has the ambient lighting, so you can customize that completely. I'll show you in a minute. Um, we also got this from Lone Star Mercedes for purchasing the vehicle. Uh, also like the keychain and all that which is very cool uh, you have a place I guess you could store your phone um, this one is part of the dash cam um, so there's that you can close this now opening the center console you also get two USB ports one of them will connect and charge your phone and also activate Apple CarPlay and this one here will also uh, charge the second person's phone example so the car also came with this um, Mercedes-Benz lightning cable and also uh, micro USB cable behind the handle again you have uh, ambient lighting the reason it's pink is because this vehicle is not mine it's my sister's so <laughs> that's why it's pink all in there you also have ambient lighting on the bottom there here's the rear view mirror we have home link built in we also get some nice lighting over here on the bottom on the right side of the steering wheel we also have the answer and hang up we also get the um, talking to the car which I don't believe it works unless you have navigation feature as you can see there so yeah, it doesn't really work. But if you hold this, you can activate Siri through the Apple CarPlay. Um, and we also have the mute and we also get the volume up and down. We also have a manual adjustable um, steering wheel so you can tilt and telescope. The steering wheel also feels very, very comfortable to hold. Nice perforation on the, on the sides. Overall, very, very beautiful car. On the top here, we do not have any sunglass holder, but we do have um, the led lights for the front this one will be for the rear so if i press this the rear ones will also light up like so and you can turn them off you also have here to turn on all the lights this one will turn it off so that when you open the doors it will not show you any light inside in the center means anytime you open the doors the lights will be up this one here you can adjust the sunshade so if you pull it all the way to the back it will open up the sunshade both the rear and the front if you want to go ahead and tilt the sunroof you will just go ahead and push this up which will go ahead and tilt it if you want to close it you can go ahead and pull it down if you want to go ahead and open the sunroof you will just go ahead and push this all the way back and the sunroof will just open And the sunshade also comes back up. Opening the sun visor, you also have a place you can store some some card or something. You also have a light over here on the top. Now it's a bit darker outside, so I don't know if you guys can see, but there it is, the Mercedes logo projecting on the ground. Now sitting in the back of the Mercedes GLA, here's what the back looks like. 
So if you look over here, we have a handle here. The ambient lighting also continues there. We have the window opening, speaker system there, some cup holder storage or whatever. Now, if you go ahead and put down the armrest, you don't see any cup holders here, but if you want cup holders, if you go ahead and push these down, you can have two cup holders that opens. And when you put a cup in it, it kind of expands. And you can just simply close them. And there you go. You also get a pass through here. So you can open this up and have like skis or whatever from the trunk. Now sitting in the back of the GLA, it feels pretty comfortable. Uh, I don't have much legroom sitting behind myself, but headroom wise, it feels very, very comfortable. So I could definitely take a trip sitting in the back here. You also have a handle in the back here, your light, you can just push it to turn it on and off. And you also have a hook here, so. Now, if you wanna go ahead and change the color for the ambient lighting, you can go to vehicle settings, and then you can go over to the ambient light color. And here's all the colors you can actually choose from. I'm gonna leave it as pink, cause that's what my sister had. You can also change the uh, brightness if you like. Overall, very nice. The taillight also has this very nice uh, sparkly effect on it, which honestly looks super, super nice. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. That being said, I will see you guys in the next one.